How to make stunning 3D wall art. Some things that you'll need. Wood for a frame. Some thin board. A tacking gun. Silicone bathroom sealant. An old tea towel. Light coloured emulsion. Black, orange and red spray paint. Wood glue. Concrete glue. A couple of brushes. And some paints for finishing touches. Oh and some gravel. First cut some bits of wood and make a frame. These cross pieces are exactly 36 centimeters in length. Tack it together with your tacking gun. Quick and easy, voila! Then cut a piece of thin board to make the base for your canvas. Cut up an old tea towel or old pair of curtains so that it fits the size of your work. Do this quickly so that nobody notices that the tea towel is missing. Then liberally apply PVA glue or wood glue, whatever you've got, to stick that tea towel down good and proper. Get your fingers in the edges there to make sure it's stuck down. Get some artwork off Google to give you some ideas of how you want your work to be and sketch it out. This gives you an idea of where to put the gravel so it's not going to get in the way of your work. Put some concrete glue on there, just work it on in there, don't be shy. Slap it on there randomly and make sure there's plenty of it. Work it on in with a bit of wood. Then pat on your bits of gravel. Various sizes will give different textures and that's what it's all about. Some of these bits will just fall off but that's just par for the course. Looking good. Next mix up some old emulsion. The gloopier and older the better. Start slapping it on there. This will give a good base for the paint, the spray paint to stick to and uh, it'll stop any of the uh, text from the tea towel showing through. Leave it to dry overnight. Next morning spray the sides, the frame of the, of the work and make it into an attractive oval shape using the black paint. Then using successive layers of red and orange, fill in all the spaces. This is the fun part, so really enjoy this. I was going for a burnt orange kind of feel and so I just layered it up and uh, adjusted it as I went along. That's more or less what I wanted and I was comparing it to the previous work just to make sure that they matched up. It doesn't take long. Next, using an old marker pen, start placing onto the board where you want the silicone sealant to go. Now get that silicone sealant out and start piping it on. You're not sealing a bathroom, you're not icing a cake, so just go for it and uh, if it's random, well, you know, that just adds to the artist artistic sort of element, so just go for it and uh, if you make any mistakes, you can still wipe it off at this stage. Then mix up some light gold uh, poster paint start applying it to the silicone sealant once it's dry. Now we're nearly done, just with the finishing touches. 
get some watercolour, or in this case I just broke up some old pastel. You could use chalk as well, I guess, just to make the colours pop. And to make it look a bit more delicate. Using some black, just add some detail, some accent, and then we're done. Easy.